folks, David Creative Craft House, to show you a puzzle that uh, many of you uh, math fans, recreational math fans, uh, will find quite interesting. Um, it's an example of a most perfect magic square uh, of uh, order eight, that is there are eight numbers in, in any one row or column. Uh, most perfect magic squares have certain very interesting uh, Qualities, which we'll get into later. I first want to show you the puzzle here, and this is in its unsolved condition. It consists of uh, these uh, 16 blocks here. You can see they're nicely made, and it's lacquered rubber wood, uh, and the numbers are, are deeply laser engraved. It, it does have a base, and uh, I've made this uh, cover, which will come over the top. It's laser engraved with some the name and instructions. So. It's uh, got a pretty nice little package. Now, the, the goal uh, of any magic square, really, is to uh, arrange numbers. In this case, there are 64 unique numbers. The numbers 1 through 64. Um, and such that the sum of every row, every column, and every both major diagonals equals the same number. Alright, now I haven't I, I will give you that number, but for those who want to be just start from nothing, I, I don't, I, I don't tell it. Um, although the instructions are, are very complete and the, and the solutions will give you lots of interesting information. Now, at this point, if you don't want to know anything about the solution, I, I will, so that nothing is spoiled for you. You can tune off the video and thank you very much. This is available at creativecrafthouse.com. Now let's talk more about uh, the, the solution for those that are interested. It has some interesting features. Uh, I, I, I messed this up in a very simple way so I could get it back to the solved conditions here quickly for us. There we go. Now, uh, now we have a condition where all the rows, columns, diagonals add up to the same number. That number in this case happens to be uh, 260. And there is a math formula that you can determine what that number would be for a what's called a normal magic square. If n n is the uh, number of digits on any one uh, row of the, the uh, magic square, in this case is eight. The, the magic sum, the number, the sum that these numbers will add to, is equal to uh, n squared plus one times n divided by 2. And if you did the math, you would find that that number is 260. So in this case, uh, the magic sum, m, is 260. All right? Everything's going to add to 260. Uh, as, as noted, a perfect magic square has some, some uh, most perfect magic square has some really interesting qualities. Uh, the sum of any group of 2 by 2 uh, sets of numbers will always equal the same number. Uh, for example, and that number is calculated as uh, 2 times t, where t equals n squared plus 1. n squared plus 1 is 65, because n equals 8. 2t that would therefore be 130. So we should be able to see that every group of four numbers uh, adds up to 130. That is, every, there's a group, each block is a group of uh, 2 by 2 numbers. But you can go beyond that, like here's a group here, 61 plus 52 plus 12 plus 5 uh, equals uh, 130. Uh, 45 plus 36 plus 28 plus 21 also. You could even go on the four corners here, 52 plus 45 plus 28 plus 5 equals 130. So every group of 2 by 2, uh, two, by two grids of numbers will always add up to the same constant, in this case 130. Interesting, huh? Uh, also, uh, another characteristic of the most perfect magic square is any pair of integers uh, along a diagonal equal to one half n will always add to that number t, the number t being n squared plus 1 or 65. That is, if we start at any point, um, let's just pick the one in the corner here, the number 1, and move along a diagonal for uh, uh, spaces. So the diagonal would be this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We land on the number 64. So 1 plus 64 is 65, our number t. Pick any uh, diagonal. I'll just pick one at random. Here's 54. If I count 1, 2, 3, 4, I get to 11. 54 plus 11. Guess what? It's 65. Isn't that interesting? Um, another uh, uh, 
condition of a most perfect match is square is that the numbers along uh, will will add to that to our 260 constant along any diagonal uh, that that wraps around the square for instance if i take this little diagonal over here 20 and 35 wrapping around the square um, i would have to come over to the let's see if i get this right I'll make it a little easier for myself, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into here, 4 plus 51 plus 18 plus 33. If I come over and wrap around the diagonal to the fourth one here, 32 plus 17 plus 4 plus 61, that, those eight numbers should equal 260, and that will be true um, all around the board. Uh, if I even just take this constant diagonal, 29, I should be able to come up to the seventh position and, and, and these seven numbers coming down here plus 29 should equal 260. It's just fascinating the, the, the qualities characteristics that this group of numbers has and I know that uh, some of you puzzle fans and, 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 and perhaps more so even some of you educators uh, will get some great mileage uh, out of this puzzle which physically demonstrates the the concepts of the magic squares. Magic squares have been around for many, many centuries. They had history dating back to 650 BC, known history dating back to 650 BC in China. Um, and there's been tons of work done with them uh, over the centuries. So I hope you find this. I hope you find this interesting. Available, um, made in our Hudson, where, uh, Florida warehouse uh, shop, and we hope you find it interesting. Thanks very much.